During my last video, I spoke about my experiences with CBT therapy as part of my treatment for um, depression and anxiety. And now I'm going to talk about the second strand of treatment that I went through, which is medication. Um, I'm going to just basically tell you about my experiences with medication and symptoms, side effects, stuff like that. Um, so I started, the first medication I went on was in January 2010 and at that point I wasn't in therapy and I hadn't even been officially diagnosed and my doctor didn't quite know how bad my anxiety was, he didn't know if it was going to um, just gradually fade away, he didn't know if it was going to get worse um, and because I wasn't 18 at that point, I was 17 in three months, he was limited in the decisions he wanted to make as far as medication, he was limited in his options because he couldn't give me anything for the over 18s, he couldn't give me beta blockers because apparently beta blockers aren't compatible with people who have asthma and I've got asthma. Um, he said that there was one tablet that he could give me but he was reluctant to before he knew um, how bad I was. Um, he actually gave me a pill, I think it was called Cataract, it was definitely something like that, very similar to that, and it's actually an antihistamine that has got anti-anxiety effects, um, so he gave me it, and because it's quite a rare pill to be described, I guess, to be prescribed, um, it wasn't in the pharmacy for a couple of days and I absolutely counted the hours until I could get this medication because I was just, I was so desperate for something. Um, and then when I got it, basically it didn't work. If anything, it made me worse. Um, well, my allergies were better. So there we go. Um, yeah, it, if anything, it made me worse. I'm sorry my hand keeps getting in the shot there. Oh. There we go. Yeah, it made me worse. Um, so after about a week on the Atarax, we went back and said, look, basically nothing's happening. And that was when he decided that he was going to prescribe me the thing that he, the second option that he had, which turned out to be Prozac. I didn't know that at the time, but Prozac is an antidepressant. It's an SSRI, I think. Um, and it goes by the brand name, sorry, I've got an itchy nose, of fluoxetine. Um, I got given, I got given a prescription flux for fluoxetine, and I started taking it the next day. Um, I didn't notice many side effects the first time round. I say the first time round because I was on Prozac for a year, between January 2010 and January 2011 and then I was off it for six months before I went back on it in June this year. So the first time round I didn't notice many side effects because the main side effect of of Prozac is actually increased anxiety to begin with. Um, and my anxiety, was, my anxiety was very very high anyway so I probably didn't notice much of a difference. Um, I noticed a small difference with my appetite like I'd be, I'd feel hungry but then I went to eat, eat and I couldn't eat more than a quarter of the plate even though I felt really hungry, it was just like food didn't have a taste, it didn't have a, it wasn't appealing to me anymore, um, I was just eating for the sake of needing to eat to stay alive basically. Um, but that's all the side effects I really experienced the first time around. Within about two weeks I went to see a psychiatrist for the first time and at that point I think it was that the when no 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 I've got my dates wrong I went seeing the psychiatrist at around the same time I start I started on the Prozac and he totally agreed with the prescription of Prozac but then I went back to for my first my first session of therapy at the same hospital that I saw the psychiatrist at a few weeks later and the psychiatrist saw me outside and said is the fluoxetine kicking in yet 
and I had to think about it because I wasn't quite sure but I thought it was. Um, Fluoxetine takes between four to six weeks for its full effects to kick in. Um, although within a couple of weeks I was definitely feeling some sort of effect. It's really really hard to explain but it was sort of like um, a smoke screen had been lifted from from in front of me and everything that you've been worrying about suddenly seems so much less challenging. It doesn't, it doesn't make the worries any smaller but you just seem to be able to deal with them better. Um, so I was on Prozac for a year um, you just have to st when you just do decide to come off it, you have to come off it very slowly because it's not as bad as some antidepressants. Some antidepressants will really make you ill if you don't taper them off. Prozac, I believe, I'm not a biologist, I don't know, or a physicist or whatever, it doesn't have a very long half-life, or it does have a long half-life, it's something to do with its half-life, which means that it will stay in your system for quite a long time, which means that you can sort of taper it off quite easily. I don't know if that's right. But it sounds right, it sounds intelligent. Um, and then you sort of... So I started taking it from every day to every other day, to twice a week, to once a week, to eventually nothing at all. Um, when I decided to go back on Prozac a few months ago, when I was feeling really sick and low, um, I, I... It was still on my prescription. If I'd wanted to, I could have just ordered some and gone and got it. But the best thing to do is to go and see your doctor because the doctor will need to check that you're physically fit enough to be able to take the pill, like your blood pressure and your heart rate and stuff, and your weight, and just talk to you to make sure you're making the right decision. Um, I did that and my doctor prescribed me again more flux team. And this time, because I wasn't taking it for anxiety, I was taking it more for depression, as opposed to the first time when I was taking it more for anxiety, I experience really, really bad anxiety side effects. Um, I've never had a panic attack in my life before, but during those first two weeks I had a couple of really bad anxiety and panic attacks. Um, hyperventilating, feeling really, really just anxious over everything. Even if I was just staying at home, I just... I had butterflies in my stomach constantly. The same thing with the food happened as the first time, but worse. I couldn't, I could barely eat. I knew I had to eat because my body was telling me I was hungry. I could feel hunger, hunger in my stomach, but I couldn't actually, I had to force myself to eat. Um, yeah, really bad anxiety, um, nausea and it takes a while to for your body to get used to it, obviously, but those side effects were much worse than they were the first time. But having said that, Prozac is an absolute wonder drug. It really... Like, I move out in two days. I move out to college in two days. And a month ago, if I wasn't on the Prozac, I would have been absolutely... I can't even... I can't even imagine how freaked out I would be. I'd probably be crying all day, I probably wouldn't want to go, but as it is, I'm actually considering I'm okay. So Prozac is absolutely the thing that's getting me through right now, and has gotten me through before. Um, I'm about to run out of time, but that's just my second little explanation about treatment, about medication that I've taken. I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to subscribe and to comment and to rate this video um yeah see ya